while you're back in Australia and um, what the hell are you doing on a motocross track? <laughs> um, GNC season, a 10, 10 week break over summer because it gets real hot and uh, promoters run a few of the motocross nationals over there. So we get 10 weeks off so I figured I'd come back home here and um, get the four day in, I got the hatter in and then there's a few off weekends so I figured hey what the hell go and have a couple of, couple of motocross races, I haven't done any for about four years so it was a lot of fun. How did you go in the motocross? Uh, not too bad, Lakes was probably my best, I got 11th in one race but other than that you know I was not really taking any chances and just, just having fun out there so it was good you know. It's a lot different at GNCC, people think if you can ride for three hours, half hours a piece of cake but it's, it's not like that, the intensity is a lot, a lot more in uh, motocross. So it was, it's really intense and the high speed on the, on the bumps was hard work for me. You know, we have a lot of rougher tracks but they're bigger bumps and slower speed and so I had a lot of trouble with arm pump out here but you know I had a ball, I had uh, two good races with um, the Team Suzuki team and Jay Foreman helped me out so it was, you know, it was a ball. Uh, not long now and it's back on again so I head back uh, in a week and a half back over there to the first round in Pennsylvania. We've got five rounds left so hopefully can uh, move up. I'm currently fifth at the moment so that, that sucks, it's my worst year yet but um, five rounds left, anything can happen and I'm only four points out of fourth so hopefully next time I talk to you I'll be on the, on the podium of this year. Awesome, good luck for the rest of the year. Cheers, thank you.